Log tour. Yeah. Uh huh, uh huh. Log tour. Uh, I know it's been a minute since you heard me speak for your authentic living system that's with your body, for your soul and spirit. Ready for action, Apostle BBJ and John Jackson. It's God called, baby. It's God called, baby. and perpetrators and people are scheming and scamming and they're speaking things about God and about Jesus and about Yeshua and about the Holy Spirit and they don't know what they're talking about. They're, they're greedy. They're, they're always telling you that they, they need you to do this and to do that and, 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 and they're always taking up your time and your talent and, and just wasting your time but they're never pouring into you to build you up. They rather invest in buildings and in programs and things like that. They're all zombies. They don't care about you, but God does. Some of you may be in a situation right now around people who say, yo, I love you. Yeah, oh, we love you. Yeah, we love you. As long as you're pleasing people, people will be pleased with you. But I'm telling you something. You're going to have to close your eyes someday. Hallelujah. I pray that you live the fullness of your days. I pray that you live a wonderful, a beautiful, a powerful, a, a flourishing life. I pray that your life will leave a legacy. But you got to leave here just like everybody else. And you have to stand before holy God. And nobody's going to be able to speak on your behalf. As much as I love you, I pray for you every day. But guess what? I can't say anything on your behalf when it's time for you to go and you stand before Holy God. I can't text God. I can send him an email. Can't do it. And I know you may say, well, you know, I'm, I'm part of a good ministry. Yeah, we, we under this and we under this banner. And, and our bishop and our apostle and our, our prophet and the woman of God. And man, I, I know you're cheerleaders for your leaders. And that's a beautiful thing. But make sure that you're following somebody that's following Christ. Not the ritualistic and religious and the super sanctimonious and the churchological systems of this world. Because the Bible lets us know Jeremiah 10 and 2. Learn not the way of the heathen. A whole lot of folk are caught up in that. People are doing what they see the next person do. But if you could just see the souls that are falling into a burning pit at the end of time. If you could just see how many billions and billions and billions of souls have lost out on eternity with God. All because they held on to religion and not Christ. Because they held on to a man-made system. Because they held on to worldliness because they wanted to do them and do what they wanted to do. They didn't want to surrender. They didn't want to hear the preacher. They didn't want to hear the prophet. They didn't want to hear the teacher. They didn't want to hear the pastor. They didn't want to hear the apostle. They didn't want to hear the word of God. All they wanted to do was do them. And I'm going to tell you something. Don't do you. Do you in God. Because greater is he that's on the inside of you. Once you accept Christ. Than he that is in the world. I need to address a few questions. This is going to help you. You understand clearly. 
that you need salvation. Salvation don't come by you going to a so-called church. That's not how you get salvation. I need you to get that clear out of your mind. So beloved, there's a few questions I like to address and answer so that you can clearly understand the plan. We're talking about Salvation 101. Who is God able to save? Who is God able to save? Do you think that you're so far gone in whatever you're into? You might be a, a, a womanizer. May have been in abusive relationships where you've abused women or maybe you've abused men. You know, when we think of, of whoremongers, we, we, unfortunately, we, 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 we immediately think about women, but there are millions of men who are whoremongers. And, and so the reality of it all is that if you're putting your body out there and letting people abuse your body, uh, when your body is designed to be the temple of the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, which is the Ruach HaKadosh, the power and the presence of God and you allowing your body to be used and touched and abused by women and men. That's wrong. You're fornicating. You're having sex and you're not married. I know it sounds foreign because preachers don't preach this no more. Everything is all about getting a new car, a new house, new this and that. And yes, God will bless you with these things. The Bible says, you know, that, 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 he won't withhold no good thing from you if you walk upright before him. So, yes, you can have new things. You can have a mansion, a fortress. You can have a fleet of cars. You can own a car lot, a car business. Yes, a dealership. You can own it. There's nothing wrong with that. But we live in a world where so much emphasis on status and the things you have. And there's so many people have so much stuff, but they don't have the God stuff. So many people have and possess so many things and they know what people are saying and what people are doing and they're positioning themselves to so-called win. But they're losing spiritually because they're not growing in Christ. You see, they have things and their name is going out there and they have, they have fame behind their name and they have money in the bank. They try their nice vehicles, but they're living the life that's not pleasing in the eyesight of Almighty God. Pastor, are you judging? Me? I'm not judging anybody. I'm talking about what God says in his word. The moment a man or woman of God speaks right, the whole world and demons and imps and that spirit of manipulation, and that spirit of confusion comes and accuses that man or woman of God of speaking in judgment or speaking in condemnation. We're living, a, we're living in a world where, where, where even the government wants us to muffle our mouths and don't say nothing they want us to mm, 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 don't say nothing about god meanwhile perversion is in the schools perversion is in the government all over the television and all over the internet perversion is everywhere you're traveling you go to a hotel at a certain hour at the night nothing but perversion nothing but sexual promiscuity and all type of wickedness and lewdness is advertised all over the station why is that because the prince of the air, Satan, yes, he's doing all that he can to snatch your soul and claim it for his own. The Bible says that Christ came that you may have life and have it more abundantly. The enemy, he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He is a counterfeit. He's not a savior. He's Satan. Don't be deceived and don't get it twisted. We all need salvation. And it's in Jesus. It's not in no new era, no new age, and all this other foolishness. It's Jesus. Yeshua is living holy. And so, to answer the question, who can God save? Let's look at Psalm 40. Psalm 40. Verse 1. 
Let's go to Psalm 40. Yes, I get excited because I'm a preacher. Yes, I love this. Hallelujah. If you love this, I want you to come on. I want you to share this channel. Share this message with everyone you know. Let your whole family, let all your friends know on social media and everywhere you go. Let people know. Listen, subscribe to Godcore TV. G-O-D. K-O-R-E. Make sure you spell it right now. G-O-D-K-O-R-E. Yes, the apostle gets excited. I get so excited about the word of Yah. I love the fact that God has chosen me to preach and teach this gospel. Oh, I'm so ecstatic about it. I, I, I pray that you're being blessed by this. I want you to, to share this message with all of your family and friends. Matter of fact, I want you to let your friends and family know that you have kingdom connected with an end time soul saving kingdom power movement. And it's called God Core. G-O-D. K-O-R-E. That stands for God's Kingdom Outreach Revival explosion yes we are an end time soul saving kingdom power movement we are a part of the global body of christ the global hip-hop end time soul saving revival is on and popping all in the mix caught up in the mix everybody want to be down with the clicks the spirit of mankind perverted mindset wicked is the heart the mark of the beast six it's in full effect and we're coming to a town near you to preach and teach the gospel of the kingdom and to impart it to the people that they in this end time must be hip to who God is in order to hop, have overcoming power in the Ruach HaKadosh. I'm telling you, God is doing an awesome thing in this end time and I'm so glad and I'm so thankful that I'm able to be used, not for my glory, but for his glory. You ought to be able to look at a person, hear a person. You ought to be able to know if they're genuine or sincere or not. You ought to be able to look into their eyes. I know in Hollywood, everybody with the dark shades and you know, they don't want nobody to see your eyes because the eyes are the window to the soul. And most folk, they either high or you know, they own something or they're, they're bugging out. And you could see some things when you look in people's eyes. Hallelujah. The next time you see somebody with some shades on in the dark, you'll remember what I say. Uh, you need to look in folk's eyes. You need to see what they're dealing with. What they work. Ain't nothing wrong with some shades. They're not wrong being cool. That's your thing, you know. But you're really cool when you choose Christ. Hallelujah. If you really want to be cool and you want to be sanctified, you need to be rolling with Christ. Hallelujah. And so in Psalm 40, we find this. We find this awesome, awesome, awesome uh, group of words uh, that, that are very impactful and encouraging, especially in such a time as this. Who, who? Who will God save? Who can God snatch out of the pit? Who? Psalm 40 and 1 says this. Beginning at the first verse of Psalm 40. I waited patiently for the Lord. And he inclined unto me and heard my cry. Ain't that something? Have you been waiting on the Lord? Have you been praying for something? Are you tired of your situation? Are you, are you just sick and tired of being sick and tired? Do you want to be set free from the bondage of sin? Oh, I tell you, there's power in the blood. There's power in the blood. You can be set free right now. Romans 10 and 9 show you how. You don't have to be bound in sin. You can be set free. Oh, what's all this preaching about, BBJ? It's all about you understanding how important it is in this hour not to focus on some type of temporary man-made concocted uh your know, pandemic vaccination uh but soul salvation you must be born again john three and three come on here i know preachers not preaching this People, want, they're preaching everything but the gospel. They're preaching the gossip, to, hot topics, and this and that. You know, they, they're talking about this. I, I, I know people not preaching this. I know a lot of people not focused on this. They're talking about hot topics and, and, and political stuff and this and what the world is doing and what society is doing and who's who got a new boo and who got a new baby and who got pregnant by who and, and who cheating on their, their husband and who cheating on their wife and uh, who's this and who's that. Who got the top... the, the the, the top shelf liquor now and and, and, and and who's number one on the chart and who got the hot song and who did the, oh but are you saved have you been born again 
Don't tell me you go to church. That's foolishness. I don't want to hear that. Tell me you grow in the church. Tell me you have become the church. A whole lot of folk are gathering. But then there's a whole lot of folk together and they're all confused. Going to church ain't going to save you. You got to grow the church. And in order to grow the church, you got to become the church. In order to become the church, you've got to say yes to Jesus. You've got to be full of his spirit. You've got to be born again. You got to become a new creature. Can't be the same you was before. You got to be new. You need a new mind. You need a new spirit. You need a new heart. You need a new perspective on life. Some folks so negative, if you put them in a dark room, they might develop. Do you know any folk? Some people are without hope. The Bible says this in 2 Corinthians 4, 3 and 4. If our gospel be hid, it is hid unto them that are lost. In whom the God of this world, Satan, have blinded the minds of them that would believe. Folk need Jesus. They don't need another quick fix. They need Jesus. They don't need a blood. They need a blessing. They don't need coke. They need hope. They don't need crap. They need Christ. They don't need sex. They need salvation. Come on. You worrying about a mate. And you're carrying sinful weight. You need to learn what it is to live holy. Some folk don't want to suffer. They don't want to go do nothing. They don't want to go do no trial. They don't want to go do nothing. They just want everything smooth sailing. And so people are afraid to war. They're afraid to, to fight in the faith. they rather fight in the street. They're at the holy phone and say, world star. When you ought to be worshiping God. Just like people are quick to grab a phone and to videotape some foolishness and buffoonery and post it. We ought to be posting the word of Yah. We ought to be grabbing the word of Yah and sharing our faith with people in this lost soul, godless society. Where the morals and the and, and, the, and the, the, the the concept and the and the foundation of our faith is being challenged daily because we're living in the world where people want to live and raise hell instead of bring down heaven. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. People want to be churchified instead of being sanctified. It's all about the kingdom. If it's kingdom, it will bring them. You need a kingdom mindset because your mindset will determine where your behind set. Think on this wise. Get your mind right. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined unto me and heard my cry. God will hear your cry. I don't care what you've been through. I don't care what people have done to you. How people talked about you like a dog. I don't care. You may feel like you've dropped the ball. You may feel like you let yourself down and let everybody else down. Forgive yourself. Ask for forgiveness. Keep it moving. Because folk ain't got a heaven or hell to put you in. And I'm telling you something. People love to see you struggle. They love to see you down. But the moment you get up. Hallelujah, glory to God. Your phone will be ringing. Your email will be full. People will be trying to touch and everything because they sense something is happening because when you become new in Christ, God will raise you up. Verse 2 says, he brought me up. Are you down? Are you trying to be down? You really think you cool? You really think you rocking? You, you really think you clocking and copping? Wait till your heart stops. Wait till you look up. And you realize you weren't all you thought you was. And you miss out on eternity with God. Then what? Yo, dig. Yeah. As long as you live, somebody always oh, yeah. say you say. You ain't got authority over me You ain't hard So why you trying to be a gangsta? Prankster You ain't God You ain't got authority over me You ain't hard 
So we're gonna be a gangster in France. Judge not that ye may not be judged, my peeps. Matthew 7 to 1, pause, hold your peace. Now release, inhale, exhale, get open. Matthew 15, 8 and 9, stay focused. Let your mind be renewed with attitude to match. No room in the end. Now, how you diss the Lord like that? The world is full of tail bearers with their life so intact. Without grace and mercy, the worst for you be two in the back. Now, picture that with the Kodak, you up in the arm. With the burning sensation from your neck to your arm. That reality not far, closer than you realize. Even if words could kill, I die, and in three, I shall rise. Faith without works is no worth. It's like a congregation. Congregating with no concept of church Forever I'll seek the kingdom first That with the apostle BBJ is guaranteed No lack of thirst Jesus is coming back uh, Christ the king is coming back soon yeah. The Lord is coming back The question is Will we be checking uh, for you checking In the morning in the twinkle of the night uh, Jesus gonna crack the skies This world out is about In the moment, uh, in the twinkling of an eye, it's gonna be something. Every now I'm leaving doubt, and time is gonna see something. Please believe me when I tell you this. Gonna be a lot of tears shed after the kiss. This world I ain't gonna miss. To be absent from the world is to be in the presence of heavenly bliss. Home with my father, sweet 3H. I'll be moving in on the rapture day. Not a day before or a day late. Understand me. You can love your dove, keep your stellar, celebrate your Grammy.